Welcome back to another Aegis Sub tutorial. In this video, we'll learn about styles and editing the style of the fonts and the color and the way that the text appears on the uh, on the video for the subtitles. So the first thing I'm going to do is just open up a dummy video. If click on video and go use dummy video. We can I think by default it's 640 by 480, but I changed mine to 1920 by 1080. The color of, that it'll be, we can just keep this blue color um, and just keep everything else the same. It'll just give us a nice blank um, video, uh, basically, that we can put our subtitles on so we can view what they'll look like. And then we can just type over here, this is a test subtitle. And so what that'll do is actually just, for five seconds, display that. And you can see it's down there a little bit small. We can change the size of it like we learned in the last video where we click over here, hold down the Alt key, and we'll just scale this up a little bit. So now we can see that, and I'm going to I'm going to change the uh, size of the video as well to 37.5, just for the way that we view it. So great. So we have a nice default white text with a little black outline, it has a little bit of drop shadow, a black drop shadow, and it just looks like this. So if we want to change it, right now this little box here tells us the style we're using is the default style. And uh, if we want to see um, what kinds of styles we have, we can click over here under subtitle and go to Style Manager, and it shows us, well, we have a, a default in our storage, which is like global. If we close the program and open it, it'll always be there. And then current script is saying what this project is actually uh, using. So it's just default and default. If we want to create a new one, we can cl click New, and it brings up this Style Editor. So we can change the name, and we'll call it My Style. And we can leave it up. We can maybe change the color to um, to a green or something, and leave everything else the same. And hit apply and OK. So now we have two styles here. And we'll make another one. We'll call this one sounds, and we'll change it to a, a yellow color. And go OK, and go uh, OK. So now we have a couple different um, global uh, styles in our at our at our disposal, I suppose. And what we can do is actually move it over. So if we click close right now, and we want to change this to the to the my style we created, if we do this drop down, nothing appears here, and that's because we actually don't have it in our in our script that we're we're running right now. So go back to the styles manager, and we click the one we want to move over this my style, and go copy to current script, and now it's going to be in there. And we can do the sounds as well, and now we can click close, and now when we do the drop down, we'll see these available. And if we click it, it'll change it to that. Uh, greenish yellow color, change it to this green color. Um, and then if we ever want to edit these, we could go in and edit it in the subtitles, but we can also edit it uh, just right here. So this My Style, we click Edit, it brings up the same dialog, and we can actually edit. So we can change the, the font being used right here. We can do like um, this Comic Sans, and if we hit Apply, it'll sh change it. It also shows a preview of what it looks like here. So maybe we want to, it has that pretty thick black border, Maybe we want to change that, which is called the outline. We want to change that outline to be a red color. I'll click OK and apply. So now it's red down there. We can see it's red like this. If we want that to be have a thicker outline, that this number here in, in pixels is the outline. So it's two pixels surrounding the fonts, uh, the, the text. So if we change this to 10, a uh, 10 pixel outline, that'll be quite thick. And then it kind of looks like that. I'm going to change it back to 2, and if, we, and if we do 0, we can just have no outline, by the way. Uh, the shadow, if we make this shadow 10 and go apply, it'll show you more dramatically what that's doing. So it's just a, a drop shadow, and the shadow color can be changed as well. So the shadow color, if we want it to be what would, what's not going to clash with blue, you know, we can have the shadow color be something... Oh, I didn't change it. I could it like a reddish color. Um, this secondary here, I'm going to change this outline so that we don't get confused. Um, the secondary red, uh, we're actually not using here, but it's going to be like when you do karaoke and it jumps along from word to word and the, the, the words change as the, as the song gets to that point, that point. That's what the secondary color is. So we'll, we'll be using that more in the future. This alignment here, if we do 7 and hit apply, puts it in the top left hand corner. 9 and apply is going to be in the top right hand. So you can kind of see these different positions. Five is going to be completely centered in the middle. So it's a great way, rather than doing the moving it like this, uh, moving it with the, the drag 
tool. It's a good way to position subtitles. So this way it's going to be left justified in the center. This way it's going to be right justified in the center. Um, we have margins here too. And some of these, I don't use this very often, the margins. So it looks like this is, this is the margin from the side, so 18. So if we go 188, it's going to kind of push it back further. So we have a, a ver vertical margin and then a left and a right margin. Um, probably won't mess with those, but there, just know there's a lots of different ways to position the text around. We can use the drag tool, we can use the alignment, and we can kind of push it around with the margins a little bit. We can also scale it. So if I put it back into the middle here, we can scale it, or let's rotate first. So if we go 90 degrees and hit apply, it's going to be rotated 90 degrees. If we want it to be upside down, we do 180 and apply. Uh, we can be back to zero on that. And then the scaling behaves how, how you would imagine it would. So if we go 50 here, it's going to make it, uh, oh, did that do it? Ah. Anyway, so there, it's an option to scale here. I'm not sure why it's not working for me now, but there is an option to scale there. Uh, encoding, you probably want to do, well, for English you'll do default, but if you want to get special characters, um, you can change some of the encoding here if you want to get a certain symbol or something, um, or a different language, of course, then the encoding is going to be different. But leave that default. And I should mention, too, changing your language is up here under View and Language. So if you do want to change the language of the program, you can use it, change it up there. Uh, yeah, well that is that's it. So as far as those those changes are all there, we click styles. We can go back to the default, which is down at the bottom. Now this style is in the middle, and so it's really nice if you have like a translation. You, you have one language at the bottom, one language at the top. You can just change these styles uh, for how they how that works. And the styles we're gonna are come in handy too when you're doing um, karaoke and some different things besides just doing subtitles. So hopefully you found that informative. Go ahead and leave your questions, comments below, and look forward to seeing you in the next video.